I brought my flip flops, so there's the walk on there. I think that's a good idea, capital idea, don't you? Oh, oh man. Break up these rides. I've been a little more sore lately, but then I've been doing a lot more too. So it's been a while since I've had this much physical action going on. I'm going to start wearing my goggles off. Oh, they're awfully scratched. God. And, uh, the wind is really bothering my eyes. Uh, I guess I'll bring the phone with me because maybe I'm going to want to snap some stills. Eh? That'd be a plan, wouldn't it? Now, is that so heavy that my pants are going to fall down when I walk? No. I gotta buy all new clothes. It's just, it's right out of control. <laughs> this one pair of shorts, not these I'm wearing today, but there's another pair. You could probably fucking fit two of me in there now. I can't believe. <laughs> and it still looks like I got this huge belly. I mean, yeah, there's a ways to go yet here. That sounds like an ATV cone. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Nice one. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it looks nice. Let's, oh, the key. Let's not leave the key so somebody can just fuck off with it. I'm not saying they would, but they could. <laughs> Still feel weird doing this in front of people. I don't know why. Okay, what have we got here? All right, native species of the fen. So we've got uh, here early August. We're out of early August, mid August. We're well, we're past mid August. Yep, early August. Okay. So June, August, Canada bluets, or blue A, I don't know, is that July, early November, Ohio goldenrod. Well, anyway, flowers are not my, uh, do not pick flowers, must stay on boardwalk. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Don't think I'd want to be on a walking through here. Oh, I was expecting something different land-wise because this looks just like a field out where I live. <laughs> like I expected swamp or something. I don't know. But this looks just like, well, you know what? It, it isn't though. That's true because this is all beach sand here, right? Eh? Like, you know, because this whole area is sand. So, okay, yeah, this is totally a different. See, I'm looking at it going, this is just like typical... You know, Ottawa Valley Lanark, uh, Ottawa La Valley Lanark, uh, you know, bush swampy place. 
are the most wetlands. Fens are the most biologically diverse wetlands in northern climates. They prevent flooding, improve water quality. Ba 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 ba. They've been pretty busy, eh? So this is a class. Oh, uh, uh, the fen is a class two provincially significant wetland, home to several species at risk. One of the many fens located within the Huron Fringe in the Bruce County. Hmm. I've never heard the the word fen before, at least in relation to where I live. Maybe I'll have to look that up. I still think the mosquitoes will probably be pretty severe here in the spring though. I don't know. Not swampy enough now. Oh, I don't know. That's not right. Look at this. This is all wet and it hasn't rained now for four or five days. So I mean, we had a shitload of rain. Okay. All right. Now we're seeing. So this probably, this hasn't soaked down by now on that sand. It probably won't. Now, unless we get like a week of super hot weather or something, but I don't think so. This is, uh, we're getting far more into the swamp. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah. Oily sheen on there, eh? How does a fen form? Okay, am I getting that right? A fen is defined by cold groundwater that flows through it. Oh, fens tend to have high pH and have high diversity of plant life, while bogs are acidic. Mm, that's good for weed. <laughs> Low in nutrients, that's not good, and have a limited diversity. The Sajin Bruce Peninsula's highest elevation is on its eastern side and gently slopes towards the west. Groundwater runs over the dullest stone bedrock through the soil to Lake Huron, resulting in this low-lying area developing into a fen. Higher lake levels can also fill the fen, making it a dynamic ha habitat. Well, huh. The cold seeping water is, is in a fen's uh, the cold seeping water in a fen slows decomposition, resulting in the buildup of dead plant material. The mar soil, clay and calcium carbonate derive from the bedrock, and organic materials are not compacted because the water is always flowing through them. Staying on the board rock prevents unnatural compaction of the soil, which will affect the plants and the drainage patterns. So that's what that is. That's not even rain or leftover rain. That's seeping up from underneath. Cold, cold water, I would imagine. I'm not, yeah, I wouldn't say it's similar to the spring, like where my well is down that hill. I've mentioned it before. Um, you know, you, there's my the spring comes out of the hill. That's where we used to get water when we were kids, and it was always ice cold, summer and winter, and it always ran even in the winter. So. I don't ever remember it freezing. Uh, I think that's what uh, this orchids are talking about. Hold on here. Is that it? No. Oh, rose pagonia. That must be what those red ones are, based on what I'm seeing here, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, they stand out because they caught my eye. I like that color. Huh. Oh, it's so nice and quiet compared to the campground. Hmm, <laughs> are those mushrooms? Are they the kind we eat? No, we don't eat those. I don't even think those are mushrooms. I don't know what that is. Just dead flowers, probably. Oh, this is starting to feel more familiar. Oh, I feel better. I'm sorry to say, as much as I love that campground, <laughs> I'm missing my bush, actually. I can't believe I'm saying that. I wanted to get out of there so desperately 
to get to here. And here I am going, oh, home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Boy, oh boy, when you get to be an age, eh? You're just all over the fucking place. You think it slows down, like you go through it in your 20s, your 30s. Then you have this midlife thing at 40s and 50s, I guess. It doesn't slow down. <laughs> at least for me, anyway. Well, you're not happy I'm here, eh, Mr. Blue Jay? I can see you up there. Hey, I know your cousin Joe that hangs around my trailer. I feed him. <laughs> you know, cousin Joe from Lanark, Hillbilly Blue Jay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what this is, eh? They call it a fen. In Lanark County, we call it a swamp. <laughs> I think that's what they call it in Louisiana. I, I'm 90% sure I understand it's not the same. Oh, listen to that. More accurately. Don't listen to that. There's just silence. Can't believe it. I was wanting to get to that campground for the noise and the music and everything. I don't even want to go out to this open section. <laughs> like it's all open. Uh, you know, like I want to go back to the bush where it's closed in. That That's the other thing. All this wide open stuff kind of unglues me like it didn't before. Now, I don't mean in the way that I can't go on the lake. That's different. I'm used to lakes. But all this wide open land. Now, the campground isn't like that, especially my campsite. But I don't know. Somehow I feel better when I'm in here. And I've said that all my life is that this is where I am at home. I don't care if it's in BC or here or Newfoundland or Yukon, whatever. I just, this is where I feel at home. Feels right to me. What's that now? Helicopter? Japanese fake Harley. The sound of it. Oh, home. Home sweet home. <laughs> I don't know how I could ever survive in the city. I did it when I was younger, but I was a lot different and younger then. Now it's like, oh man. Yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, before I want to lay down here and sleep, I'll go back and get my tent and everything and just throw it in here. Of course, I would never be awfully wet anyway, but no, I would never do anything like that. Although, see, across the way, we've been there already, and uh, I don't know, it looks to me like you could get away with camping in there, but I don't know. I was going to go check on the map, see if that's Crown Land or something. I just don't... Uh, there's nothing that says you can't camp there, but there's nothing that says you can. So, it's one of those, like, do you try it? Now, you wouldn't want to do it with a tent and then have them come in the middle of the night and say, ah, uh, yeah, you need the, you know, am spray from the area, A. Hey. And, uh, oh boy, that, this, this is uh, a, a DJI action, uh, uh, you know, thing. But it's not a tripod, so that's all right, you know? So, look at that. Behind me there.
it. It's all the way. Too bad it's not a tripod, but then it wouldn't be as good as it is. It's like really long and it's DJI, which everything these people seem to make is just beyond. The company that I keep forgetting their name, even though I follow them everywhere, um, and I have the, it, it's their, you know, the, the shell thing for the DJI camera that's got all this cool stuff. Um, I'm going to see whether they have tripods or not. I'm going to try and order one of theirs. Because every one I've ordered so far has been shit from Amazon. Either I'm the worst chooser in the world, <laughs> or it's just pure junk, which is more likely. So I think maybe I'll err, even if I have to pay more for the... God, I wish I could remember the name of that company. I never... Well, hopefully I can remember I just said this. <laughs> And I can put the name like in the, you know, description or something. There's old red. Mr. Happy Bike. Heart transplant on Tuesday, hopefully. Voltage regulator. And that should have us uh, fixed up with some long tears. Because I'm told that a lot of the trails that are around here, they go by places so you can get gas and everything is fairly organized and that kind of thing, even if I don't use their trails. So look at that orange way off in the distance. We'll head up that way, eh? Okay, give me a minute here. Gotta get you guys back on the... Maybe I'll just shut off. It's been 41 minutes, so I'll be out of